Welcome back. This week I decided to try the I dress as for a week and to put my own like spin on it I decided to do Shakespeare characters because I am as you might say a bitch for the bard and rather than focusing on like a load of different characters from different plays I decided to just do a load of characters from one play. So this week we are doing The Tempest. Partially I know that it is one that is studied a little bit in schools mostly as like an introduction to Shakespeare so I thought people might know what I'm going on about but also because it was the first Shakespeare thing that I remember ever seeing so I thought it was a nice way of starting off whatever this is. But that's enough rambling from me, you want to see the video. So before we start, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone in my Discord server because they helped me choose which video to release this week. Also, if you like this video and you think you might want to watch some more of my stuff, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So any kind of interaction would really help me out. And without further ado, roll the intro. So the five characters that I'm doing this week are Miranda, Prospero, Ferdinand, Caliban and Ariel, not the mermaid. And this is going to be more of a closet cosplay, Disney bound style approach, shakespounding, if you will, because A, the costumes would take me ages to make if I wanted to do them the way that I would ideally do them in like a proper theatre setting, and B, as much as I would love to wear Elizabethan clothing for an entire week. I work in an office so it doesn't really fit the dress code but contemporary clothing is actually more similar to what Shakespearean audiences would have seen in the original performances than you might think. And to explain a little bit more about that I will pass you over to Pretentious Willow to clarify. Now whilst Shakespeare being performed in jeans and t-shirts might be enough to set some people's teeth on edge, it might be closer to the original performance than you might think. You see the logic was, if a play was taking place in the Roman era for example, and a soldier was one of the characters, an audience wouldn't be able to tell if they were wearing a Roman uniform what rank they were, but if they were wearing an Elizabethan uniform the audience would be able to recognise more or less what rank they were based on the uniform. An example of this in the modern day might be putting all the wealthy characters in designer labels so that the audience can clearly see who has the access to wealth and luxury. Now, as I say, whenever David asks which Pixar film I want to watch, onward. What is your name? Miranda. Admired Miranda. So this is the finished look. I added a little hairband just to like keep my hair out my face. Also to add some different colors. I was worried about it being a little bit too kiddy with the blue and the yellow, but I think it, the blue and the yellow kind of gives a snow white vibe as well. So I kind of like it. For jewelry, I just got these little strawberry earrings in and then I'm wearing a little sunflower necklace that says you are my sunshine. And then I didn't do too much in terms of makeup. I just did like mascara, eyebrows, lips all because I wanted to give that kind of youthful, fresh-faced look. I should probably go to work now, but uh, see you later. Bye-bye. So I was having a think at my desk and it suddenly occurred to me that she grew up without any social influence. So as much as I think Prospero would probably have raised her to be kind of a Elizabethan or a period accurate depiction of femininity, I also realised that she would have had to do everything that Prospero did to provide for their little family. So I thought I would do a kind of more modern version of Miranda. So I chose a fisherman style jumper paired with a camo jacket. Oh no, where have I gone? and my painting jogging bottoms for a more practical and badass look. For Prospero, a duke robbed of his title. Hello, we're now on day two and today's character is Prospero. For Prospero, I thought I would do a very kind of sleek businesswoman look because although like Miranda, he has lived on the island for a long time and has had to kind of live off the land and be all you know what I mean he was Duke of Milan and 
Milan is one of the fashion capitals of the world so I thought even if he had not lived there for a long time he would still have that kind of embedded need to look his best. I'm gonna get dressed now and I will show you my outfit in a second. This is actually the day that I got the most compliments on my outfit, which is probably just because I wore makeup so people noticed, but still. By Wednesday, I gave up filming in the morning because it meant I had to get up 10 minutes earlier and I was not prepared to do that. I decided to wait to log my outfit until after I got home and I was a bit more comfortable in the outfit and I kind of felt the vibe a bit more. So, the southwest blow on ye and blister you all. Okay, not going to lie. Hands down, this is my favourite outfit of the week so far. Caliban was actually really fun to dress as, which I did not expect because he is my least favourite character in the entire play. Come at me. I thought I was really gonna struggle with what to wear for Caliban. I knew I wanted to go for like mossy, green, dirty kind of vibes, but I didn't think I had anything that was going to work. And then I remembered Grunge exists. My Ariel, come. All hail, great master. If any of you have seen Rachel Maxey's Made Up Aesthetics video, this feels incredibly meadow punk and I'm very here for it. Ariel was one that I thought I was going to really struggle with as well, but I ended up really liking her outfit, even if David said I looked like a grandmother. What's wrong with grannies? And here we are. I found this week really fun. I did not realize how much I missed Shakespeare until I started doing this and I started re kind of thinking about the characters and stuff. I think it was fun as well to go into each day kind of with an idea of what I was going for in my outfit. It was nice to have something that I had a clear vision of what I wanted to wear. So when I was getting up and getting dressed in the morning, I knew what I was looking for, but it still was interesting and it was still fun to wear without being time consuming. I would definitely do this again. I would love to do more variety of subjects. So like maybe doing musicals or films or things like that. So let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me do this kind of thing again, what you would like to see me do that would be cool. And once again, I'd like to say thank you to the people in my Discord server who suggested this video. Thank you very much. And I think that is everything that I have to say on this subject. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down there because it lets me know that you've enjoyed it. So p please, that one. If you think you might want to watch more of my content, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you see when I upload. Like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And if I get to 200 subscribers by the end of this month, I'm going to let you choose the next sewing project that I do. So that's kind of fun. And now my camera is flashing at me, so I better go. I hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. And I hope that you are happy and safe and bye. Hello. Okay then. Oh my god, what are you on about? <laughs>
Stop it. Why would you make that noise when I'm filming? <laughs> oh, you're crushing Yeah. I do. Good book. Pirates and dragons. What more could go on? <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Hello. Don't do that. That looks fucking weird. 